What's up, guys? Welcome to the All Sports Best channel. I'm Trey Gonzalez, and today we're going to talk about the 10 things that Chris Mad Dog Russo can do to remedy the bold statement he made about retiring if the Diamondbacks made it to the World Series. There's absolutely no way that Arizona beats Philly. It cannot happen. It will not happen. It happened. So after that statement was made, Lots of receipts were pulled up. You have to retire. Let's figure out what 10 things he can do to remedy this, if at all, for the Diamondbacks fan base and for just his credibility in sports radio. So let's get into it. Number one on this list is retire. Evan Longoria called him out on social media. The D-backs in their post-game celebration chanted Mad Dog. They know about it. They kept the receipts. So did fans. So did sports media. So in order to stick to your word, keep your credibility, you have to retire. Even if it's for a short stint, I'm going to retire for six months and then I'm going to come back out of retirement. That to me would still count as a retirement and I would accept that as a Diamondbacks fan. Let's move on to number two. Number two, get a Diamondbacks tattoo an Arizona Diamondbacks tattoo it has to be visible it can be on your arm can be on your hand it can be really small but something that definitely makes headlines that we decide you know what all right cool he didn't retire but he went an extra mile to do something extreme I'll take that number three is went over the Arizona Diamondbacks fan base by buying the tab at Willie's taco joint just a block outside of Chase Field it's a locally frequented spot and if you're just a D-backs fan you know about it downtown Phoenix and you can do something that actually limits the amount of money that you're gonna spend everybody only gets one drink and if you get your drink after that you do have to pay something like that would be totally fine it's still gonna run up an insane bar tab but D-backs fans would love you forever Number four is you've got to get down and dirty. You have to clean the stadium with the crew until it is complete after game three. So you have to do some manual labor. You have to get out and you have to get your hands dirty after game three. We know how crazy it's going to be. The atmosphere has been phenomenal in the postseason. I can only imagine for the World Series, especially since it's the first World Series game they've hosted since 2001. And I'm talking you're picking up empty cups, empty containers, the leaf blower, taking that to popcorn and peanuts and all of that stuff, making sure that that place is perfectly ready to go for game four and you don't leave until the crew leaves. Hey guys, we appreciate you for watching this. We will get to the rest of this list, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. We would absolutely love for you to become part of the community. Number five is designate a spring training game where we know you are going to be wearing the Baxter outfit for the entirety of the game. We know it's going to be hot. We know it's going to be uncomfortable, but the mascot for the Arizona Diamondbacks is this furry bobcat that definitely has to be uncomfortable under the suit. You've got to be that uncomfortable person for an entire game in the heat of Arizona during spring training. Number six is you have to serve as an unpaid clubby for one week in 2024 for the team. Now, for those of you that don't know what a clubby is, I looked it up to make sure I knew everything that they do. I knew the general um, term was meant for people in the clubhouse that go and get deliveries, that um, help with equipment, things like that. But according to the internet, it says they help with equipment management, laundry services, locker room maintenance, player requests, like I said, deliveries, things like that, um, clubhouse security even, catering and food services, cleaning and maintenance, and support during road trips. So for one week, this guy's going to be on the road. He's going to be helping the team with whatever it is that they need, whatever they need to ask for, unpaid. Number seven is another way to get D-backs fans on your side. You are going to purchase season suite tickets to where you rent out a box suite for the entirety of the home games this upcoming season and you don't enjoy them. You don't get to be in there. You have to give them out to some fans for the Diamondbacks throughout the season. So however you decide that you want to give that away, if it's going to be like some kind of cool promotional thing, you can actually get content out of it by, you know, asking questions on the street or something. And then, Hey, they won because they answered three questions. You get the box suite for tonight, or it's just a social media online thing. 
It doesn't matter if it benefits you, it's definitely gonna benefit fans. Okay, for number eight, I thought that I was going to take it down a notch, make it mild, where you just have to wear a hat or a shirt to the first Phillies game in 2024, but I decided that for this one, you have to wear a full Diamondbacks uniform and you have to buy the seat behind home plate or a seat behind home plate where Phillies fans are absolutely gonna go after you for the entirety of the opening day game at home. It's going to be miserable and Phillies fans we know are hardcore, so they are not gonna forgive you for this one but I feel like it's not that hard of a um, punishment considering it is just one day and you just have to sit there. You can leave when the game's over. You have to get there before the game starts and leave when the game's over. You cannot leave early. That would be cheating. This is a decent punishment that would probably leave you as a villain in Philly's eyes. Number nine is going to cost some money, but according to the internet, Chris Russo can afford this. It says that he makes about $3 million a year on Sirius XM, and he also makes about $10,000 per episode appearance on First Take. He actually admitted this himself. So with that being said, another way to win D-backs fans over is to buy Game 3, Game 4, and Game 5 shirt giveaways for the first 10,000 fans to show up to the World Series games. They paid their tickets. They want something that's going to be exciting when they get through that gate. Chris Russo, you are going to be that person to be able to give that to them. You don't have to attend it. You just have to dish out the money to be able to buy these shirts for fans to rock during the game. And finally, number 10 on the list. This one's going to hurt the pocketbook, but not as much as number nine might have. You are to donate $50,000 to a Diamondbacks charity or a few Diamondbacks charities. A couple of those foundations include the Arizona Diamondbacks Foundation and the Miracle League of Arizona. Or you could just write a check for $50,000, give it to the D-backs organization, and let them distribute that to multiple charities of their choice. All in all, this guy has had a very successful career on radio. He's actually in the Radio Hall of Fame. Um, but what we really want to see is something as far as ownership goes to what he said. I know that he's going to talk about it. He's probably going to try and blow it off, those types of things. But we want to see something come of it, right? I mean, not necessarily retiring. I know that's probably not going to happen. I can imagine us as fans knowing that that's just kind of a bogus thing. It was easy to pick on the Diamondbacks when it seemed like there was no shot that they would make it to the World Series. But now that they've made it, we want to see you come through with your word, even if it means, you know what, I'm not going to retire, guys. I can't do that. But... I'm going to make it right because I'm going to do this. Personally, I'm going to game three, so I would love to see Willie's Taco Joint, uh, the bar tab be bought up, or some amazing t-shirt giveaways. So either way, I'm good with any of these 10 I think will do, but what do you think Chris Mad Dog Russo should do to follow through or make up what he said on radio?